Hey guys, welcome to another video. So before we get painting, I'm going to announce the winner of, oh my gosh, there's so much glare, of the breast cancer awareness painting. I have this pushed as much out of the sun as I can, but this is super catching the glare. So that's the painting. And here we've got the names of the participants. So, oh, I don't know if you saw that. So here we go. Let's see. The winner is Bridget. So Bridget, I'll be in contact with you through the email address you left me and we'll work on getting that mailed to you. Let me go put this stuff away. Okay, so on to the painting. So as you can see, we've got something a little different going on here today. This is just blue painter's tape and I have really pushed it on there as best as I can so hopefully nothing leaks through the paint and I want to do like a darker painting that's kind of like um, reminiscent of a night sky and then once it's dry I'm going to take and flick some white on there for like little stars and then I'll take the tape off so this is probably gonna be like a two-parter video um, one right now with how we make it and then with the pulling the tape off I suppose so there's black from Artist Loft. We're going to do the metallic cobalt blue from Artist Loft. We're going to do purple from, Meta or from metallic from Artist Loft. And I mix this purple up myself, guys. And then the gold is my fave. It's the PBO. I really think I'm saying that wrong. Someone please, for the love, tell me how to pronounce that right. <laughs> so that's this gold. I love this gold, like, so much. So that's the gold we're going with. And that is not nearly enough paint in the cup. So I think we'll go back with some black. I do want this to be a darker painting. Let's go a little bit more of the purple. And a little more of the cobalt. Okay, that should be enough. And I don't honestly know how this is going to flow over the tape. I don't know. I've never done this before with tape, so this is going to be interesting to say the least of an experiment. We'll let that sit for a minute. I need to figure out a different lighting situation in here. It's terrible. <laughs> Got my torch ready. Ugh, this paint's gonna go everywhere up here. I just know it. Mm. Maybe I gonna move some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. Oh, this is good as it's gonna get. Alright. Here we go. Normally the purple doesn't tends to kind of get lost a bit in the black, so we'll see how it goes this time. Okay. Sorry, the glare is terrible. to being not enough paint. Go figure. And that purple, like I said, I, <laughs> a couple of times I've done it before, like for these colors, the purple gets lost. So I was like, okay, let's just do a lot of purple this time. No, purple, you took over. That's okay. 
I like purple. It's not necessarily night sky -y, I suppose. Okay, I'm gonna fix my corners, wash my hands, let this sit, and then we'll do a close up. Okay guys, so <laughs> I might leave it in because this, I usually like cut the video, you know, oh my gosh, I just saw so much dust flying through the air. Okay, I usually cut the video and just skip right to like this part, but I might leave this and show you what this gold was spreading like a disease in a petri dish, you know, when you see those things in science. So I was like, oh, this is way too much. So then I ran it and then... It just looks all wiggly and nonsensical right now. So, <laughs> and it definitely doesn't look anything like a night sky, so I don't think I'm gonna flick white paint on it. I think we're just gonna try it and see how it goes. And right here, I can actually see the tape buckling up a little bit, so I'm sure paint got under there. But I was thinking it's white canvas, so I could just paint it white after, if that happened, but anyway. <laughs> and it is so glary, I'm so sorry. So, the purple stuck around a lot more than it usually does, which, way to go purple. This is gold. I love this gold so much, you guys. Okay, anyway, so <laughs> it just looks crazy hot messy right now. Um, this is probably just going to end up being an experiment in the tape. We'll just call it that because I don't think it's going to be anything <laughs> other than that. And the tape, I did wrap it all the way down around the corners. Oh, geez. Um the corners so the effect gosh <laughs> the effect would go all the way around the corners okay anyway let's see if I can I can't even see the camera screen because it's so glary anyway I'll take I don't know if I'll take a picture of this and post it or wait until I take the tape off either way I'll tack on the end of this um, the tape coming off which will be in you know it's got to take like 24 hours for this to dry all the way I think I'm gonna start watering down my paints a little bit Anyway, that's just a thought I'm having to myself. Okay, anyway, um, so Bridget, I will email you, and thank you to everyone who participated, and if you guys like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, and more will be coming your way. Bye, guys. Alright, guys, so this is the next day. This painting is dry. We're gonna go ahead and pull the tape off, and I can, I'm sure we've got some spots where the paint went under, but let's just go ahead and do this. And I'm sorry, I think this is probably going to shake the camera a lot. Okay. Is everything from the back? Ugh, why am I getting... Ugh, the corners. The corners that sit on the cups... Is Day wet. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, bummer, right off the bat. Dang it. My thinking was if it was just like, um, smaller like just a couple of areas like a little bit I could like paint it white but that's not gonna happen here obvi I don't know why that didn't work maybe because the paint got too wet because this is painters tape blue painters tape that you would use to like paint your house and that stuff let me tell you what because about uh, almost two years ago I painted every stinking flat surface in my house, no joke, and I still am <laughs> finding pieces of blue painter's tape that I did not get off in the initial sweep, no joke. So it's weird that I, maybe because it gets wet, wetter this way, it didn't um, stick is my only explanation for that because that would have looked really BA in my opinion so 
fail. The only thing I could think of maybe to do that again would be to do the pour. Do the pour. Varnish it or wait a really long time so it's super, super dry. And then tape it off and then paint white in would be a way to do that. So anyway, failed experiment. But we had to give it a try. So sad. All right. I am going to tack this on to the end of that other video, guys, and I will see y'all later. Bye.